Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're going to be playing some more Spore. You meet me back on Moddy Stan where today is a very special day indeed. We're going to be moving on. Don't look at me with those loving eyes, lady. <laughs> she wants it, look at her. Don't worry, stay calm. We're going to do something before we start. But today we're going to be moving on to the tribal stage, is what I'm trying to say here. So what we're going to do straight away is I'm just going to make one minor alteration to our creature, which I feel as though maybe some of you guys didn't like. And it wasn't about the parts I put on him. Uh, someone said they didn't like the mouth, but I kind of am not that bothered. So I'm just going to leave the mouth like it is. I'm sorry, person, whoever you were. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the color of our creature because you guys didn't really like the scales that I put on to him. So we're going to go into this menu here, and we're going to go for this, but we're going to make him green. And then we're going to get the detail up, and we're going to have... I don't know which detail. I did quite like those um, little like patches of scales. Maybe some of these and make it a sort of lighter green. That might look quite nice. Yeah, I think that's a bit more subtle. And I've always liked the green with the uh, modivore that we've created here. So I think this will do. So this is the final alteration. Now obviously I apologise if I've missed out something that you guys really wanted me to change. There's only so much that I can involve in this, and include even. So we're just going to have to accept this is our creature from now on. We're going to go into tribal stage, try and take over the world, put our footprint on the world as it were. Not a, not a CO2 footprint hopefully, well not yet anyway. But here we go, we're going to advance to the tribal stage. Your actions as a creature have earned another trait that defines your species. New unique abilities await you in the tribal stage. So wow, if we look at this, we started almost bang in the middle of the omnivore, and we're still right in the middle, which is surprising. I really wasn't expecting to play this as fully omnivore. But I guess that's what happens. So we actually don't want to change anything. The game gives you another option to do so, but that's cool. We're just going to stick with the guy as he is. Ah, oh, what is this? Stick. Oh god, I'm sort of morphing my head into my body there slightly. Stick. What is this? Can can make tool. Or oh, make funny noise. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do this. <laughs> oh yeah. We know what we're doing with this stick. Watch this shit. Ah, maybe not. Oh, we tried. That's the main thing. Let's give it another go. Fire! Look at us. The first step in civilization is to learn how to use fire, and there's our staff, our chieftain. We have evolved. Epic. Congratulations, you're about to enter the tribal stage. And here we go, the start of a new adventure, a new stage is upon us. Actually, a lot of people say they don't like this stage, but I'm a bit sort of here nor there. I, I think it's got its perks. It is good. And the cool thing about this mod pack, actually, is that it's made a few changes to the tribal stage. Um, in this, the number of tribal members that you can actually play as now has been increased, so you can have more tribe members. You can also, uh, you start with more food, apparently, which is going to be helpful. And also, all of your tribal buildings have a lot more health. So I think it's basically supposed to sway it, so it makes it a lot easier for you to get through the stage, which is good. With a roof over your head and fire at your fingertips, you enter the age of hand tools and drum beats. But beware. Soon, rival tribes will form across the globe. Be vigilant. Wonderful. You now command a burgeoning tribe of three. You may select individual tribe members or a group to do your bidding. You must interact with other tribes to move your progress bar forward, so let's take a look. This is your progress bar. You may ally or conquer other tribes to advance your own tribe. These goals will help guide you through the tribal life. Your first task is to dress your tribe in a new tribal outfitter. Click on your heart. Oh my god, what the hell are those things? Terrifying. Why is the game paused? Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's click on this. Click on the hat icon to open the tribe member panel. Roll over your tribe member and then click on the edit outfit button to enter the tribal outfitter. Okay, so we've got two menus here. Basically what is happening 
is uh, you start out with instruments or weapons. Now, obviously, if you kill other tribes in this stage, it's going to make you more inclined to be an aggressive tribe. And obviously, if you use instruments, you start socializing with things. And also, there's different ways that you can collect food. Food is basically our new DNA points, which is going to help us build new buildings and increase and improve the tribal outfits that we've got. But enough rambling, let's just put our stuff on. So, there's a few ways that I could take this. I personally enjoy killing tribes in this stage, and because we've done a very omnivore sort of focused thing so far, I mean, maybe I'll change this towards the end and I might st start making some more friends, but for right now, we're just going to go for aggressive. And we might, as I say, we might do it later on so that we're a bit more sociable. But we want to go for combat, basically. So we want health level 3, that's always going to be very helpful indeed. And I think we're going to give him a nice little hat. If we move it onto the back of his head a bit like this, we can make this a bit bigger. Okay, interesting. And then make the bowl a bit taller on top. Perfect. It's like almost fits in between those antlers. It's made to fit. Perfect. So we've got level 3 health now. 116 armor. Look at this. Wow. Okay, so we could go for combat level 2. I think we're going to go for combat. And I'm wondering whether we can put this mask on here if we make it a bit bigger. Yeah, look at this. Perfect. It's covering all of our eyes and face. Looking good. And I wonder actually what happens if we expand these. Oh, I quite like that, actually. We're going to keep it like this. A big, scary mask. It's our war mask. We've actually got our mouth just sticking out the bottom as well, so it, it does perfectly fit. Okay, wonderful. So let's have a little look at the chest pieces. Now, there's also things that are going to increase your ability to gather things. Carry more, which would be very helpful. We don't really need to worry too much about... Actually, does this stack the combat ability? Okay, so if we put something with combat level 1 or level 2 on, because we've got this mask which already gives us combat level 2, it's not going to increase our skill anymore. So I think we're going to go for the fanny pack, which is going to be increasing our gathering skill. And why not put it on our big meaty back legs like this? This seems like a good idea. What what happens if we expand these out? We can like make them feather downwards, I guess it's not really that impressive of a change. But fine, we'll go for this. And then with this, we've also got some more armor here. Health level 2, combat, social health, they're not really helpful at all. We've got 20 more points, so we could put some more of these decorations on. And oh my god, I think we need a moustache. But you can't really see it. Ah, well, whatever. We may maybe we won't put moustaches on. Um, we're just going to go for maybe some like rings like this. We could give him like some nice chains on his his uh, rings on his wrists. That sounds like a good idea to me. Make him look like he's from the best damn tribe in the world. One of the richest tribes. Oh yeah. Right, okay. So what else we got here? I don't think these are actually anything aside from decoration. I'm also pretty certain these are just decoration as well. What we could do is put these on his antlers. Oh damn, it doesn't let you put them on the antlers. That's a shame. Well, I guess we could maybe give him like a little symbol on his back like that. I want to save some of this armor points, just so that we can actually uh, buy some some more and better improvements in the future. Now we can change the color of the guy again, which I didn't realize, so we don't need to worry too much. But I think that's going to do us nicely. We don't want to change too much here. Ah, oh, so we're outfitted now. We're going to fit in, be a proper tribe. And I think the first um, change calls for putting down some throwing spears. So that's going to be our first hut down. So what we can do now is... Oh, it's going to give us a little camera tutorial, which I really don't care about. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get through this really quickly so we can hold both these buttons to pinch the camera. Okay, so there we go. We know what we're doing now. These guys over here are terrifying. Apocalyptimus. Apocalyptimus? Okay, well now there's a few different ways that we can get food in this game. Uh, we have a few tribe members that we start with, and we need currently 10 more DNA or food even to create another baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these two guys over here. Can we fish yet? We can fish. Let's go and get some fish with these two. These two here, I'm going to... Actually, let's make all three of them grab spears. If, in, just in case we get attacked by any other tribes. So here we go. And we're going to grab all of these guys. We're going to keep the chieftain here just to protect the food. And we're going to attack these over here to get a bit more food like this. So we'll send all three of them over there. And basically what we want to focus on straight away is... Um, Oh god, I was worried that they were going to start attacking us then. But what we want to do straight away is basically get as much food as we can to start expanding our huts and also start getting as many tribe members as we can as well. So as these guys are grabbing up some nice meat, these guys are getting some fish. Hopefully with that gather level 3 we're going to be able to carry a bit more and all of our food stockpile is going to be down here. So as soon as these bring over the first piles of meat, the delicious meat, you can make some nice steak burgers. Sounds delicious. Steak burgers made out of... 
whatever the hell these things are called, Alpha Pocatemus. Very strange name. Okay, so there we go, we've got enough now for another baby. Oh, it requires a bigger hut. I'm not sure how we actually create a bigger hut. I completely can't remember. Oh, there we go. Probably does it a bit more naturally. Oh, of course, yes, you, you expand your hearts by defeating the other tribes, don't you? Silly me. Oh, they're happy for now, but yet they do not know. They got two faces. That's really weird. A rival tribe of Clicklaw has formed on your planet. Beautiful name. The tribal chieftain leads your tribe. Your tribe can go into combat without its chief, but the chief is necessary for any social encounters with other tribes. Chieftain also invokes any of your tribe's consequence abilities. To use con a consequence ability, first select your chieftain, then click on the ability you'd like to use. Okay, so we've got a couple here. We've got Beastmaster. Not exactly sure what that does. We've also got Flying Fish. Now, Flying Fish is going to be very good. I think that gives us a massive food bonus straight away. But... The first order of business is basically to gather all of our tribe members together, go and collect some spikes, uh, some, uh, some spikes, some spears. As you can see, you now can get up to 24 members in your village, but we're going to want to attack these other tribe before they get any more members, because at the moment, we can probably take them on. We've got spears, they might not have anything, and I think with Beastmaster, we should be okay. I don't know exactly how this Beastmaster works, I've never used it before, but what we're going to do is we're going to start walking over to the Brown Village, which is just over here, on the river's edge as well, on the on the side of the lake. Same side of the lake, and oh, what are they going? They're going for fishing spears, and they've got maracas. Well, they're unfortunately going to be wiped out by us, because they are a social tribe, so they're going to be grabbing all of their maracas, thinking that we're going to be friends with them, but actually, the game is going to crash. Okay, so I don't really know what happened there, but for some reason, when I loaded this game up, we're already attacking the other tribe. Which is fine, but I think we're going to lose our chieftain, which is going to be a bit of an issue. But once we take these out one at a time, it should be pretty damn easy. They've currently got, I believe... Oh, we should probably focus these down. It would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Okay, well, I can't even click on these other tribe members, which is a bit of a pain. But what we can do is we can monitor how many people they've got left. They've got four left right now. And hopefully... Oh no, our tribe leader's been taken out. I think we should be okay. We've got the nice spears. I don't believe they've got any form of weapons. They have got fishing spears, but I don't think they're quite as effective as any of the others. And if we focus each one of these down, we should have a bit of a better chance. We're going to lose a few of our tribe members who've lost the chieftain, and also another normal tribe member right now. But there we go, we're on to the last one. And we should wipe this tribe out entirely. We, of course, also need to take down the main uh, tribal hut. But that's good. Once we've got this guy, I'm going to send them on, give them the order to take out their hut. Here we go, take that out. Oh no, there's another one there, there's another Maracan. But what we're going to do is we're going to start spawning in some more creatures. So let's add a couple of babies. And we're also going to want to get... Oh, our, tri our tribal chieftain actually um, gets released automatically. So hopefully, once we've taken these guys out, we should be all good. Okay, so start attacking their tribal hut. So we've only got two guys attacking, so this is going to take quite a while. Which is going to be a bit of a pain, because they are still spawning in new babies, which isn't great. We're probably going to lose a few of these guys. So grab that spear, come over here quickly. We need support on this side. Oh, you know, I don't think we can actually take these guys on. We're going to have to go home. So let's grab everyone up. We're going to have to do a second attack. Unfortunately, we haven't done too well here, but I think I know when to start retreating. They have unfortunately got two people left. Which is, is not enough, really, for us to start attacking them. But what can you do? It was a failed first attack. As I said, the tribal huts have a lot more health in this stage now, which is going to make things a bit more tricky. And I think it's another feature as well that um, tribal members grow up a lot quicker, which might actually make this a bit more challenging. Of course, I'm now thinking it might be easier to start taking on people on a uh, social front, because if you're social, then you just have to make friends with them. You don't have to take out their entire hut and everything else. Which is kind of crazy. Okay, so let's start getting some more meat. I think that other tribe's going to get up to six people quite quickly again. Unfortunately, we have annoyed them now by attacking them, believe it or not. So we're going to have to worry about them attacking us. But to be honest, one of the best things that i found is that if another tribe attacks you and fails and you successfully defend it, then generally they're going to be pretty screwed. So... What we're going to do is we're going to try it. For some reason, these guys aren't putting down this food, which is a bit irritating. But we're going to try it and gather as much food as we can. Maybe they're a bit bugged out. I don't exactly know what's going on here. I think the chieftain's just getting in the way. 
Okay, well, I think there's a bit of derp AI going on again, because if you look, they're all just standing completely still, which is really, really unhelpful. And no matter how many times I tell them to perform some other action first, they just completely stand still. So, good job, everyone. Good job, game. We're definitely not going to progress if we keep having problems like this. But what can we do? We can probably do the flying fish thing. That might be a good idea, just to see how this works. Sounded like the Horn of Winter, didn't it? Okay, well, come on, people. Let's start putting down some of this food. Just use the flying fish thing, which... Oh, holy shit! What the hell is that thing? Is that the flying fish thing? I am so confused. Whatever that was, that was terrifying. Something we definitely don't want to deal with. Another tribe is attacking. Oh, good. Well, they're attacking with five people, so maybe what we can do is... And we're still spazzing out. Oh, my God, game. This is making me rage now. Come on. Can we actually do something right? That would be nice. We're on our home territory. We are having to defend. Annoyingly. Well, I guess they don't have any weapons, which is quite good. But I think what we need to do is just focus a single one down. And once we've got one down, we should be okay. So we could click on this Beastmaster as well to see whether we uh, can do this. We've also got a charge attack as well. Might be able to encourage some beasts to come in and help us attack these people. Okay, here we go. Let's attack the other smash bugger, or whatever, smash burger. Oh no, they're on our ti they're on our side, okay. Maybe we don't want to do that then, but they have sent two to attack us. Maybe now that we've got the Beastmaster trait, we could start attacking their home village. It might make things a bit easier. And I think, you know, why not try it? They've got four people left, three people left, with all these beasts with us. They certainly should help us take down a village, I think. So we've got these Alpha Leonus and also Smash Burgers. I think they are starting to eat the food that we gathered. Maybe what I'll do is I'll bring the chieftain down here just to start collecting some of this food up. Oh, and of course, actually, we shouldn't probably do this now because the chieftain is the one that controls the beasts. Oh dear god, this is not going very well at all, is it? Well, I guess what we're going to have to do is just collect all this food up and hopefully we can actually start placing it down in our stocks, in our stores. Okay, so I had to restart the game yet again just to get this to work and for some reason now they've actually managed to put down some, um, some food. So that was a bit of a pain in the ass, but what can we do? And it keeps giving me this hint, which is a bit annoying. Maybe it's something to do with the mod pack, making them sort of derp out with the AI again. I have no idea, but it seemed to not really be that helpful. So we're going to add another baby now. Oh, we are actually an omnivore, so we can eat uh, plants as well. I didn't even realise that. What is wrong with me? Okay, so we're going to basically wait until these two babies have grown up. We're going to give them some spears. So here we go. One of them's done it already. And then we're going to attack the other place once again. Now, they do have six creatures. But I think this time, if we have the beasts helping us out, we should have a better chance of actually attacking the other people. So we're going to have to wait until the Beastmaster refreshes. But I think for today, this has probably been enough of an insight into the tribal stage. We've reached, a f we've met a few problems along the way, which has been quite annoying and made it quite difficult for me to record. However, next time we're going to properly delve in. We're going to try and wipe that brown village out, because I don't like how they're looking at me. If you enjoyed today's episode and you want to leave suggestions as to maybe how many of these tribes I should make friends with and how many of the tribes I should attack, then leave a comment below. Also leave ratings and tell your friends if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>